Um, I've been here a few times in the past for previous tournaments and to play UTT as well. So I've had such a great experience here. I feel like uh, the people here are very warm and welcoming. And um, I see that table tennis is rapidly growing in India thanks to players like Monica and Satya and Srija. So I think it's just really cool to see. And I'm excited to play here myself and just, you know, try my best and, and leave it all on the table. Monica. Um, hello everyone. Uh, first of all, sorry uh, for my throat. I'm not in a good uh, position right now. But yeah, I'm really happy uh, that it's happening for the first time in India, this tournament, a great big tournament. And I'm really excited that people will come to cheer all of us. And um, I'm excited to, you know, keep um, my friends who I can take, it, take out and, you know, uh, India the khas with you. So I'm really happy and excited. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm very happy and excited to be to participate in the Star Contender event here in Goa and I'm looking forward to play in front of the home crowd and I think it's going to be very helpful not only for the participants but also for those who come to watch the matches. Uh, we can take great learnings from this tournament and I'm looking forward to this tournament. Hello everyone, uh, I'm uh, you know, it's, it's a great moment for all of us and uh, you know, making India a table tennis destination, you know, to have a, such a big event here. It's a very special feeling. I've travelled across the world, to, but to play in your home country is always a very special feeling. So, we are super excited, like everyone, to, you know, represent the tricolor and I'm sure there will be a lot of people coming to support us and uh, we'll be giving our best to uh, you know, take Indian table tennis to the next level. So congrats to the entire team for pulling up such a massive event. It's, it's, it looks really nice and uh, hope uh, you know, a lot of Indian supporters will come out to cheer us. Thank you. Uh, I'm really glad to be here, and uh, I'm really glad to be here. Uh, I'm looking forward to play the matches and winning. Thank you. Uh, I'll now open the floor for the questions. So, uh, my question to Satya. Uh, you said uh, this event will go a long way in making go, uh, you go India a table tennis destination. So if you can elaborate what uh, does WTT coming to India means for the sport in India? Well, it's massive. I think uh, World Table Tennis, uh, you know, it's a great brand for the sport as such. Uh, they, you know, they are reaching out to every part of the world to make sport more global. So I think uh, you know India is a major powerhouse. I would say in table tennis, the way we are growing. So I think uh, to make India a destination, you will see a lot of uh, young players coming up and doing really well. So uh, you know, the next step is you know to make people believe, and it's really nice also to see a lot of top players coming down to India from China, Japan, Korea. You name it, they are here. So it shows the Indian table tennis has gone to a good level and. Uh, yeah, I think Goa is a very nice place, uh, perfect destination uh, for uh, the sport as well. And yeah, I hope the, uh, you know we can be a sport uh, destination country where uh, have such events and uh, make the sport grow more bigger in, in the world level. To ask uh, all three Indian contestants, uh, what are your expectations from the from the tournament right now? Uh, uh, Indian players, do they often take part in such tournaments and what does it mean to be playing uh, really high ranked players? Uh, yeah, for me, uh, I am really looking forward for this tournament. Uh, uh, I would just like to go match by match and prepare uh, uh, according to the match and uh, I will just try to enjoy uh, my game and go match by match. Uh, I think for me, this is the third time I'm participating in Star Contender event and uh, earlier I've played until the pre-quarterfinals in this event and here I hope I'll uh, at least make it to the quarterfinals. 
What was the question? <laughs> how often do you? Marika, uh, how often do you all uh, take part in WPT star, uh, star contender tournaments? How tough the competition is, and what is your expectation from this tournament? And what has been your best performance so far? Um, I think uh, I not uh, pressurize myself, uh, you know, uh, with expecting so much from myself. But I just uh, like Sri just said that I also enjoy just uh, give my best hundred percent uh, in every match and in every game uh, I can for India. So I just uh, go my match by match and I just give my best for my country and for myself. And of course, I have. Uh, trained well and you know uh, I will strategize according to the match so let's see how it goes and yeah I'll just give my best. Hello, um, hi my question is yeah, I mean uh, pretty much answered we are all very regulars in the WTT uh, we've been playing uh, throughout the world like Jordan and I think almost played 10 to 15 events across uh, in a year uh, so we are not we are not new uh, to wtt wtt is new to india so it's, it's a great thing i think my best performance was quarter finals but like i said the competition is very tough here it's one of the toughest events uh, certainly in the wtt so i'll be really happy if i can pull off a couple of upsets and uh, the aim would be to you know beat some good player and that's more satisfactory Uh, hi, my question is again to uh, Sachin, probably. Uh, as I follow him up a lot, and I've been following his uh, for a long time, his career, uh, in, in greater height and rankings. So, as you have been playing for a quite a long time, you have already been uh, playing contender series for long now. Uh, many countries you have played and you have uh, brought in the rankings up as well. But having played in the home crowd uh, in, in your country itself, how does it, uh, you know, going to bring change for you in terms of uh, a perspective of uh, you know uh, development in terms of ranking also and uh, getting bigger uh, I mean opportunities more in future uh, what do you look up to? It's very exciting like you know I know how it feels like I think uh, we have a lot of tournaments in China, China, Germany and the crowd support plays a major role you get that kind of uh, confidence and uh, that extra uh, motivation to push yourselves uh, you know in an important match so suddenly playing in home crowd uh, gives that comfortable feeling when you're there in a tournament and I think that will really help us to you know go that extra mile and super excited and I was told also it's going to be a regular affair now every year so I think uh, it's a great moment for all of us and certainly like a uh, historic moment to have uh, uh, you know uh, such a big event in India uh, year after year. One question for the in Koma. What does the absence of Malong mean to this tournament? Maybe it's your question. What, is, what does the absence of Malong, the Olympic champion, uh, he is missing from this tournament, he pulled out yesterday. Yeah. So what does it mean? Uh, and, uh, is, it, is, it, uh, uh, is it a, is it a setback for the tournament? Um, I think it's quite a pity that they couldn't take part in the tournament, but uh, because of uh, health reasons, and they're looking forward to play the same course match. Can I ask one for the uh, you You actually said that you played uh, in India before, you've been to India before. Uh, uh, how do you see the general uh, table tennis standard of Indian players compared to the world standards? Uh, do you think uh, they still have a long way to go or do you think they're actually getting there? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the first time I came to India was uh, World Junior Championships in Hyderabad, like 20... 12, 13, something like that. So anyways, like from then to now, I've seen a huge improvement uh, in Indian table tennis. I see, you know, 
the staples, Monica and Satya, but also a lot of young players rising as well. And I think that's super encouraging because, you know, it's really great to see table tennis flourish anywhere. Um, and I feel like if once India table tennis flourishes, the rest of the world also benefits. So I think it's really exciting that WTT is hosting a star contender, uh, one of the biggest events here in India, and I'm excited to continue to see it grow as well.